Hey y'all, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Back with another video on a subwoofer upgrade for the 2013 F-150. Went from the eight inch dual voice coil subwoofer that came with the factory sync navigation system. And I decided to go with a 10 inch that I actually previously had from another vehicle that I sold because the stock eight inch just was not enough uh, I love good sound on my uh, vehicles, good stereo system, uh, have always wanted to upgrade and will probably never quit. Um, so when I found out this thing had a factory sub, I was like, oh, that's great. I get to upgrade it because as you know, if you're, if you're watching this video, your uh, factory subwoofer probably is not enough. Um, so I didn't want to go with anything crazy. Um, I didn't want to take up the whole backseat. We have some dogs. I uh, wanted to be able to keep as much room as possible uh, back here, and we are traveling quite a bit. So if we have gear, anything like that, we can hold it back here, put the seats down, put the gear under it, put the dogs on the seats, um, and it, it still works out great. Um, but I'm just going to kind of break down what all I did, um, how I have everything ran. Uh, when I was looking this up, I couldn't find much on it and it made everything look super complicated. Um, but it's actually pretty easy. Um, all you really need is obviously some speaker wire. Uh, you need a line up, a converter, sub, box, and amp, and an amp wiring kit, and you're pretty much a business. Um, of course, I have it sitting right here where the uh, split seat is. And it does sit up a little bit with this 10 inch. It's not a shallow mount. Um, I'm sure it would sit slightly more flush if I had a shallow mount, but I didn't want to go with that. I wanted a, a full 10 inch, um, but I do have the wires ran back in there. They go underneath uh, the positive wire goes underneath the carpet right here. I have it ran all the way up um, under the door trim and through the grommet right there, you can see it. Uh, I wanted to keep it as close to factor as I could. I have it ran all the way up here, up and around. Um, of course, I have in this wire limb right here just to kind of protect it a little bit. But, yeah, um, I'm gonna take the seat down real quick. So luckily with these, you can let that down and you can actually reach behind these and pop a little lever. Uh, let's see, where is it? No, it's right here. This will be in the uh, down configuration. It'll be like down here. If you want to drop this seat, you just pop this. It's kind of hard to reach. You might have to do it with one finger uh, or grab a piece of ply or a pair of pliers or something like that. Um, you can pop that up and that'll allow this to drop down. And I actually have my amp back here. It looks like a bit of a mess just because I have not uh, completely secured it. Here, I have it out for you. There is your line output converter, the LOC90. Um, I will link this below uh, where I got it. I got it off Amazon. I can't remember how much it was off the top of my head. But you've got your factory subwoofer wires. Let me see if I can zoom in there. That um, plug into your factory subwoofer and I split them up. I actually called the guys at Crutchfield and I was like, hey, just wanna make sure I don't screw this up. And they're like, as long as you're, you pair them up, you're good. I was like, awesome. So I have dark gray and gray black going into the right output and then white and white black going into the left. And of course got your RCA cables run over to here. And then my speaker wire is just run back behind the seat underneath to the subwoofer. So pretty, pretty easy install. I wanna say this took me, it probably took me about two and a half, three hours, um, just cause I took my time. I was, I was trying to make sure I was doing everything right just cause there's nothing that I could find that was definite. Um, I was quite doubtful that it was gonna be this easy, but it was. So that was awesome. Uh, it sounds pretty good. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's been pretty good to me.
Um, so if you want to do this to your 09 to 14 F-150, you should definitely, definitely upgrade it. Um, I got the, the subwoofer in the box off Amazon, the, the amp off Amazon, and I'm pretty sure the whole amp wiring kit off Amazon as well. I will link all that below uh, so you can check it out. It's pretty reasonably priced. Um, if you're upgrading any sound equipment, you know it's probably gonna be a little bit expensive. I don't usually go for top trim. I don't wanna spend thousands of dollars on this. I've done it before. I'm not really trying to do it all at once. Um, so yeah, definitely don't want bottom of the barrel, least, least you can buy, cause I don't wanna blow stuff up and it does sound terrible. Um, I just hate that, hate getting into a new vehicle and the sound system sounds awful. Eventually I'll be upgrading the speakers and I'll definitely do a video on that. Um, it'll, it'll probably sound 10 times better once I, once I finally get that and then I'll, I'll upgrade the uh, um, sync system to the newer one so I can get Apple CarPlay. That is going to be wonderful. I'll make a video on that as well. So yeah, uh, if you you like this, um, you think it's a great system for you, comment down below, let me know. Uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Um, I'm going to try and make as many videos about this thing that I can. Um, hopefully this, maybe this gives you some ideas and learn something from it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will answer as best I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.